morning, you guys. Saturday morning. Going to work. Here's what I'm wearing. <laughs> Look at little Boo Bear. Hi, Boo. I'm going to do an assessment for a new client. I'm going to prop you up here for a minute. <clears throat> That's better. Now I can eat. Look at Boo. <laughs> Hello, Angel. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Look at him. Cat food all out. Okay, so... <clears throat> If you follow me on Instagram, I posted the dining room here because I want to show you these curtains. Today, I want to get out and see if I could change them. These were for the fall, winter, and they're a dark gray. I'm going to show you. Let me put the light on in here. Maybe you could see better. Let me spin this around. Tell me what you think. Hold on. This is what they look like. They're really pretty, but I'm not a fan of the color for the summer. And I also don't like the way they look at the top. It just, I don't know. It looks undone to me. I don't like it. And you see how they move? Where's my boy? <gasps> Hi, little boo. Oh my God, you're the cutest. Look at you. Are you sitting at the window? Your eyes match the flowers. <laughs> find it difficult to get out of the house get in your vehicle with your work bag your keys your wallet your drink <laughs> like your phone ah there has to be an easier way guys there has to be an easier way i did have two hard-boiled eggs for my first meal i have a big thing of water i'm going to do that assessment i was telling you about a little while ago and i have so much to do today i want to look for curtains I have to look for a new long rug for the kitchen because the one we have is shot. And I really would love something that I could throw in the wash, kind of like a ruggable, but I don't like that they're so flat. I don't know. I don't know what to do, but having two dogs and two cats, a husband and my daughter still lives at home. Um, I just feel like I need, I need something that I can wash. I like to wash. I wash our blankets all the time. I took the pillows out the other day of the shams and I from the living room couch and I threw them on the wash. They it just I like fresh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a little bit overkill with it, but I just I cannot stand just a dirty smell. If that makes any sense to you, I like fresh. I like you walk in, it smells good. Um, and I feel like we've had a really long winter, not so bad of a spring, but it just, I need to freshen up. So I want to get rid of the dark curtains first and foremost. I can't stand them. And so I have a lot to do. I want to get mulch. There's just whew, endless things. But anyway, my first thing is to go see this new client. So I am off and I will see you when it's All done. Right, well, that went very, very well. So exciting. I am now at Stop and Shop. Here we are. <laughs> um, I'm kind of craving a little bit of a salad today. I'm still going to uh, continue with doing what I'm doing, but I don't think there's anything wrong with just having a little bit of uh, salad with my meat today. According to Dr. Berry, I can do that. <laughs> and so I, this would be like a keto vor ish day. Although um, those two eggs that I had earlier today, are really keeping me full, but I don't know. I just kind of want some crunch. So I'm going to keep my greens to the lowest carb I can and only do a little bit. So I have some salmon that I'm going to be making today and I'm just going to have like a little side salad because I want to. Dr. Berry said you can do keto, ketovore, carnivore, all within that scope. And I don't I hope my stomach's gonna be okay because I haven't had a veggie in almost a month. Have any of you guys tried this? I wanna try some. Somebody said this was good. I think I've tried this a while ago, long time ago. Uh, let me know, bone broth, kettle and fire. 
All right, guys, so I'm back home. So what did I pick up from the store? So I said I was craving a little bit of lettuce, so I picked up a small one of these baby butter lettuce, organic, delicious. I'm gonna make myself a salad. I did pick up some ground turkey, just I don't know, I'm just a little over the red meat today. Doesn't mean I won't have it tomorrow, but I have some salmon. So I wanted just to pick up some ground turkey. A couple cans of tuna. Hi, Britt. <laughs> okay, some mozzarella sticks. And for another veggie, I did pick up some of this. I'm probably not going to eat it. Um, but I was thinking of making, Brittany was asking me to make the uh, crack slaw. So I was going to make that for her. I did grab, oh, grabbed one of these. I love this stuff, the Gain Fabric the spray. It's by Febreze, but this is my favorite scent. And the other thing I got was this glass cleaner. This is spray away my favorite because I want to clean my windows today. Oh, cold brew. Cannot live without it. So that is it. Oh, wrong. I lied. This forgot to show you this cottage cheese. This, um, I don't know if I'm going to eat it, but it does have good culture and I'm not really sure what's going on with my stomach the last two days. It's been a little bit iffy. I'm going to try to have a little bit of salad today, like I said, uh, because there's some probiotics in here. There's live cultures and such, and it is a dairy. Another thing that, uh, Dr. Barry says you can do. So I might, I don't know. I'm toying with it, but I went from having normal bowel movement to being very constipated than to have loose. So I, I guess it's just how much fat I eat in a day really depends and makes a difference on that. Um, or my body, because it's almost a full month now, is just getting used to everything. I don't know. But uh, I am craving some lettuce. So let me put the groceries away. I'm going to make myself something to eat. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not that hungry. So I'm trying to go with, you know, when I'm hungry, listening to the hunger cues. So maybe I'll eat when we get back, but I want to go look for currants. That's what we're doing. All right. See you in a little bit. Salad is complete. This is not all for me. This is for Brittany, Jess, and myself. Although uh, I probably should have separated mine. Um, but anyway, it's, I took some tuna here. And I mixed it with avocado because remember, today is keto vor day. So tuna, avocado. I have the baby butter lettuce in here. And I do have some of these roasted red peppers, which I'm not going to have. Those are getting picked out. I have to go get my plate and then I'm going to eat lunch. Guys, lunch is ready. Okay, nobody's here. Who do I hear? <gasps> what are you doing? Are you drinking? Paisley was just outside. It's kind of cloudy today. Look at that. Oh my God, do I hate these curtains? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I can't stop saying it. I'm just over them. All right, so here's my portion. It's just a little bit, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of tuna, a little bit of avocado. But I hope my stomach's gonna be okay. I'm a little concerned, but not terrible. I mean, it's just lettuce, right? Wish me luck, guys. Hope I don't see you in the bathroom later. Right, Britt? I'm thinking you were made for me. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day. Second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top yeah, Alright guys, so Home Goods got a couple things Um, two bags 
Right now, uh, I just realized that we had those curtains from last year. So I asked Jess to go up in the attic because I remember we washed and folded them nice, put them in a Rubbermaid container, and they're up in the attic. So I'm like, why am I going to spend money on that when I could just pull out the ones that I love? I'm back. At home, complete bust. They didn't have anything. They had things, but nothing that I was looking for. But I did score at Home Goods. I did go to Home Sense. <laughs> I can't keep track. And I had a cartload of stuff. And then I said, you know what? I don't really need this stuff. It was more of a want than need. So I want to focus on what we needed. Uh, I did. I did get one want here, and but I got other things that we needed too while I was out. So let me show you. So the first thing I got. Um, is a soap dispenser for the bathroom, the main bathroom here. This is uh, like a Lucite acrylic, and I just loved how it looks twisted like that. Um, our fixtures in the bathroom are a brushed nickel. This is more of a shiny, but I absolutely loved this thing. When I tell you how heavy and substantial this is, uh, I just think it's great. This just fit right into what I wanted, and I picked it up and just so you know, in case, $12.99. If you noticed by my coffee maker, I have the big clear jar from Target, I think, from a couple years ago that everybody had for their cookies or their coffee pods. We have our, well, Jess's sugar in there. And it just, I guess because it's clear, you can always, I don't know, it just to me looks ratty. I don't like, and this is so funny because this is clear, but this is different. I don't like the clear jars with sugar and flour and stuff in it. I feel like that stuff should be hidden away in a cabinet. It's just me. If you do it, I, you know, you do you. So I wound up and I have been looking for a coffee and sugar jar for Jess. Uh, and I found, these were on sale. Um... I just thought they were so cute. Nice and simple. It says sugar. This thing was only $5.99. It says it on both sides. Uh, and it has a really nice lid. It's quite substantial. There it is next to my head. I have a small head. But um, so I got the sugar. And then I found coffee for the coffee pods. This one was $9.99. And again, it has that really substantial lid. And then we'll put the coffee pods in. I'm so excited. I love these things. Look how cute. They're just adorable. Then something small for the kitchen. You guys know I just bought that uh, Daddy Caddy. It has like the big lip at the bottom. For whatever reason, every time someone puts a dish in the sink, <laughs> which, and you know I don't like dishes in the sink, but sometimes we do. We put them in, and then we eat, and then we're finished, and then they go right in the dishwasher. Uh, this one has the little eyes, so you could just slide your sponge on it, which I thought was awesome. This yellow little thing mimics the sponge. How cool. So it's not going to have this big, giant lip. The catch-all, I call it. I hate that thing. So I thought this was great and $4.99. This next thing I got, when I saw it, I didn't even care how much it was. I had to have it. Uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, you may not have known this. Or even if you're not new, um, I've been married to Jess since 2011. And um, he proposed to me on the beach at just at like dusk, sunset, um, at Long Beach Island. And that's where we go every summer. We have um, a nice family vacation down there. So uh, because the ocean and the beach, hi Petunia, are so special to us, uh, let me show you one thing. So when we bought this house, we were, uh, it was over the summer, and we went down to the beach that summer. And we were so excited to find like our first memento, I guess, souvenir from our trip. We always get something. Jess is notorious for getting me jewelry while we're away on any trip. He likes me to have a necklace, a bracelet, something. Uh, and it's kind of cute because every time I wear it, that's what I think about. But check this out. The first 
the first vacation we took uh, when we bought this house, we found these. These are handmade um, little tile for your drinks. Look how cool they are. So pretty. And each one has a different design. And it just, it reminded us when we were looking for uh, a souvenir, it looked like the beach, right? You know, kind of like the water, here's the water, the sand, what have you. Anyway, we keep these on our buffet table back here. And I always stagger them like this, <laughs> you know, and it's just super nice. So anytime we have guests over, we only have four of them, but someone always remarks about it. And now that we have the same group of friends that come over, they're all used to seeing it and they still talk about it. They love it. I'm giving you this back end story because when I was in Home Goods just now, whoo, wait till you see what I found. I told you I didn't care what it cost. Look at this. Oh, look at that. It's a charcuterie board and it has like the beach. Look at this. Oh, guys, is this not the coolest thing? I love it. So, and this was completely unintentional, but it does. Look at this. So, when we have parties, I'm doing Mother's Day. I always do Mother's Day. I do Thanksgiving. I do as many things as I can to have my family here. Uh, this will make a great. I just, I couldn't not get it. How much do you think this costs? I mean, I literally would have paid a hundred bucks for this. It's so big and heavy. Ready? $29.99. Oh, I love it. It kind of just reminds me of when Jess proposed. It just does. Now the thing I'm most excited about, I have it in two different bags because I got two of them and you'll know why when I show you. Hold on, I'm pulling it out. <laughs> I got two of these because we have a front door and a side back door. And look, look at that. Okay, so our door, our front door and our side door are white. And so I thought this would pop. It's got some purple in it. I always try to plant some purple flowers. Uh, $34.99 and I got two. So tomorrow is Sunday. So the plan of the day tomorrow is to finish power washing. I wanna power wash the doors. Um, we started with the patio last weekend. I wanna do the doors and then I wanna hang our beautiful new wreaths. I want to set up the coffee and the sugar containers. I'm thinking of, oh my gosh, I need your opinion. I'm thinking of getting rid of the Keurig and I'm thinking of actually getting, you know the Drew Barrymore um, air fryer that we have? I'm thinking of getting, Petunia, you can't eat this, honey. It's not real. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting the coffee maker. The reason being, as much as I love the Keurig, uh, we go through pods like crazy, especially Jess. He's a big coffee drinker. Petunia, <laughs> hold on, guys. The cat wants to eat this. So anyway, back to the coffee maker. Jess is a big coffee drinker. He, he drinks... He drinks a lot of coffee. I stick to like one cup of regular in the morning. I might hit a decaf later in the day, but since I've been doing carnivore, I really have just had the one in the morning. And sometimes I don't even finish it. I just feel so energized, like I don't need the caffeine anymore. But I do enjoy that warm cup and I am just, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I know coffee's a plant, I get it. But again, I do me, you do you, whatever. So I may do that. The Keurig splatters everywhere everywhere my quartz countertops constantly have coffee all over the place and i'm so tired of it plus when we have friends over we have company here whatnot it's so it takes so long for everybody to have coffee together because it's the keurig and by the time the first person has their cup to the last person they're already done the next it's just i'd rather make a nice big pot that is my little shopping haul Jess, um, I'm gonna show you, let me twist this so you can see it. And the funniest thing is, look what box it's sitting in. <laughs> it's sitting in an Optavia box. That's the step stool with the curtains 
that we are going to be putting back up and I have to go get the steamer out because I have a feeling from it sitting in the box in the Rubbermaid um, all winter it's probably wrinkled so we're gonna do that tonight um, yeah so exciting night up ahead still haven't had dinner right now it's a little before six so we're gonna hang up some curtains walk the dogs I'm going to make dinner that's Yes, hello, Petunia. She wants those wreaths, but I hid them in the closet, so she's looking for them. I know. All right, guys, it's the next day. Happy Sunday. I just came home uh, doing some errands. I'm doing washing my curtains that I was talking to you about yesterday, and I want to show you. I got the coffee pot. This is the Drew Barrymore uh, programmable coffee pot. Uh, I want to show you. Hold on one second. It's got enough to make 14 cups. It does have a gold mesh filter. Very substantial. I was really quite surprised, but the air fryer that we have and the crock pot by the same brand uh, is definitely sturdy as well. Um, here's the coffee and sugar containers that I got. We got our frother. Obviously, that little white cord there is going to drive me nuts, <laughs> so I don't know what to put. I don't know how to make it uh, stay back there. It's very thick, so I can't, it's not very flexible, but anyway, what we did was we moved the Keurig up here by the Ninja Creamy, and I covered it with a plant. Figured if we have a party and somebody wants a uh, Keurig, then there you go. We'll just bring it down, but doesn't it look so cute? Don't mind this, I gotta throw this out. We have a fire extinguisher, you all should have one in your house, but yeah, check it out. I love how that came out, and we have some on the left basket, that's where we keep Ziplocs full of all the dog treats. And in the right side here is just some manuals for all of our appliances. Uh, let me take you to show you what else I got. Before I forget, this is what we did with the jar. We just put the dog treats in there, just easy access. All right, let's show, let me show you the other thing I got, I'm so excited. I got a new runner for the kitchen floor. Look at that. Woo, love it, love it, because our floors are this dark color. And I thought this, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a black, a gray, tan, and white, I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty, so I'm gonna set that up, but what I do wanna show you is, we put the curtains up, yay! These are the ones that I had up from last year. Let me show you the top, I threw these in the wash. They came out so nice. Oh, hold on you guys, I'm a shrimp. Hold on, I'm a shorty and I gotta fix the rod, but this is what they look like. Now, you can see through a little bit, it's sheer, but I don't mind it because, woo! I gotta put that screw in. Disregard. <laughs> I like some brightness to the house. And we did the same in here. I just wanna steam them a little bit and pleat them better, but that's what they look like. And like last year, I think it gives the house more of a brighter look. All right, I just wanted to show you the rug. I think it looks gorgeous with the coloring in here. Uh, I love it. Love it. I think it came out great. And what I really like too is the edges. Look at that. Doesn't that look so pretty? Love it. All right, just wanted to show. All right, guys. So I am gonna go finish doing what I have to do. I have to go do uh, the rest of the curtains. I got the wreaths still in those bags because Petunia was trying to get to them. Um, I believe the rest of the curtains, there they are, they washed and dried so nice. So I'm going to go take these out. I'm going to hang them up. It's raining, so I couldn't do the wreaths, but uh, that will be coming this week with a whole lot more. We're hosting Mother's Day, so I have a lot to do for the weekend. We're actually doing two days. Half the family's coming Saturday and half Sunday because of everybody's schedules. So we have an entire weekend full of family and activities. It's so exciting. All right, well, I'm signing off. I love you all, and I will see you during the week. Bye, guys.